How's everyone doing? I am Mobile Master Tech, and I'm here at Romeo Elementary School in Denellen. Now, uh, I forgot today was an early release, so I didn't get here quite in time to really sit down. The kids still are in class, but they are getting ready to leave, so I want to go ahead and try to cover this. It's kind of far out um, from where I live at, so I want to try to cover this while I'm still here. So we're gonna go ahead and run some speed tests in the area. I've been here before. I do know all the carriers work pretty good for the most part. Um, as you can see, T-Mobile running beautifully right now uh, with 27 for the ping time and 6.55 for the download. Uh, so that's pretty incredible. We also have eh, the upload. It's, it's okay. It's actually a little bit better when I park over there. Um, but it's fine. T-Mobile works good. I can't speak for inside the school. Uh, it could be hit or miss for the carriers, of course. I, 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 I don't know. I think T-Mobile will work just fine though overall. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do a video uh, test really quick. Let's go ahead and do that. Mobile Master Tech, we are here the at T-Mobile seems Mary to work Elementary just fine. School. Those up How's pretty quickly. Doing? I am mobile so T-Mobile, great job. They passed the test. Next, we're going to go with Dish. Uh, this is a suburban kind of area. Um, they need significantly, everyone needs more towers out here, but this school just so happens to be in a decent spot where uh, there's no issues going on. I think everyone, the tower that this is coming from, everyone's on it. Dish, T-Mobile, Verizon, AT&T. Verizon and T-Mobile have upgraded to mid-band and dish i mean they'd use midband and i can show you that now that i have got a little bit more info on dish so let's let's stop what i'm doing here and let the test go okay so let's see what i can do here I'm trying to be quick about it Okay, so right here you can see Dish uses, uh, you see that N70, 25 megahertz, N29 at five, you've seen uh, N71 at 10. They also have a 20 megahertz channel of uh, N66 as well. So they do very good for themselves. Let's see what the speed test shows. So 170 down for Dish, very good. Uh, 80 for the ping time, that's kind of bad, jitter 10 is okay. And then 4.51 for the upload let's go ahead and run um, YouTube and see what happens mm. and it's working you can hear it a little bit let me turn it up elementary school just fine uh, beautiful great job for a dish let's go to Verizon now Verizon I haven't tested over here yet um, with their new fairly recent uh, 5G UC. Okay, Let's see what happens here. I mean, excuse me, 5G UW, sorry about that. Uh, doesn't seem to reach as good as T-Mobile's for whatever reason, as you can see the LTE just kicked in there. And that has been pretty consistent, unfortunately for me. Uh, it's just not reaching as far as N41, which I know in some markets this is not the case, but in my market, unfortunately, it is for sure N41 definitely reaches further than UW. Um, I guess it depends on the power levels that Verizon decides, but still very good performance. Uh, you have 87 for the ping time, which is kind of bad. Jitter at 91, which is bad, but you have 111 for the download and you have 4.28 for the upload, which is really good. And we'll do one more and it seems to be choosing to pick a different cert no nope. okay same server okay now the ping time much better 38 okay and now it's got a better latch on to that uh 5g um uw connection that ultra wide band very good uh 38 for the ping that's not that great but it's decent uh 476 for the download absolutely excellent and about and you can see this is why the upload's very weak too. You could tell um, UW is 
on on edge but very good speeds jitter at six of course we have to see how it performs and we'll go to my account load up a video here at shady hill elementary <laughs> school beautiful how's everyone so last but not least we have at&t now at t they're gonna work fine uh they might even be pretty quick. Their their density out here is not too bad, and they have their own. This is one of the very few areas in Marion County where AT and T actually owns their own fiber. Out here, they even supply it to to T Mobile and Verizon at times. So this could be a good one. Unfortunately, though, while they do have their own fiber and all that, they still have not upgraded their to to mid band. Right, they're just solely relying on low band in rural or suburban areas, and I don't like that plan. Um, so hopefully they do come out here and do something. To at and I feel like these speeds right here that I'm getting is good enough in rural and, and stuff like that where T-Mobile where and Verizon don't think so. Possibly because they're gonna do more uh, um, fixed wireless access and at and is not. So we have 59 for the ping time, pretty typical for AT&T. We have uh, 12, the best upload so far that I've seen, so that's good. So the upload is at 12.5, 72.5 for the download, 11 for the jitter, not bad for low band at all. And of course, we're gonna do a test and I'm sure they're gonna do just fine. How's everyone doing? I am Mobile Master Tech and today so we are here streaming. At at and it's fine. College it's Park good. Elementary school. So this school, everyone passes the test. Everyone does great. Now the next school I'm gonna do is uh, this is Romeo and Donellan Elementary School, and next one I'm gonna do just Donellan Elementary School, and that's gonna be a lot different. I think you're gonna see a lot worse performance across the board. I think it's gonna turn into a dish or AT and T competition. I do have a surprise for you that I found today, though. So stay tuned for that, coming straight out of T-Mobile, and that's gonna change the game at that school very soon. But that's gonna do it for the video for today. Uh, if you like what you see on the channel, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, uh, not Twitter, on uh, X, at Terrell352. And until the next video, I'm out.